to DeKalb County now where people are calling a senior living facility saying they want police to crack down on crime in their neighborhood. This after almost a dozen cars broken into, leaving them to cover the damages. Fox 5's Joy Dukes talked with several residents who say they are fed up. As you can see behind me, the entrance of Panola Garden Senior Living Facility is gated, but residents tell me that didn't stop vandals from breaking into their cars. I just could not believe my eyes. The glass. All of my belongings just all over the seat. That's what Chandra Floyd and several other residents at Panola Garden say they woke up to find walking to their cars on the morning of June 11th. Our entire community is being ravished with crime and now it's hitting our doorstep. Just a couple of weeks ago, eight cars were broken into. Residents shared these images with Fox 5. They took nothing, apparently. They just made a mess. A mess they say they were forced to cover the costs on. I wasn't looking forward to to having to pay $219 out of my pocket because I'm a senior, I'm on fixed income, and it's ridiculous. Resident Michelle Carrington says she believes it's part of a worsening issue of crime in the surrounding neighborhood she's called home for seven years. There's gunshots, there's, you know, drag racing, there's break-ins, there's everything you can imagine now. Because I know uh, the other two senior buildings, one about a half a block away in each direction, they've had the same issue with uh, cars getting broken into. They tell Fox 5 while the vandals didn't take any of their belongings, the whole ordeal has taken their feeling of safety and requests to hire overnight security have gone unanswered. We don't have all this extra money to be repairing and not only is it just money, it's our peace of mind. You know, we're nervous and we're scared when we coming in out. Some residents have started taking turns patrolling the parking lot themselves, but they say they'd feel safer at home seeing more of a presence from DeKalb County Police. And we reached out to DeKalb County Police to see if they have any plans to increase patrols in this area. We're still waiting to hear back. If you have any information about these break-ins, give detectives a call. In DeKalb County, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News.